Aggressive investing versus defensive investing. Imagine you're in a boxing ring. On one side, you've got the fighter who's throwing punches like there's no tomorrow, aiming for a knockout. That's your aggressive investor. On the other side, you've got the boxer who's meticulously guarding, bobbing, and weaving, looking to win by not losing. Meet the defensive investor. Aggressive investing is like chasing the wind during a storm. You're looking to capture the full force, the maximum gains. You'll be investing in high-growth companies, startups, maybe some tech firms with names that sound like they were born in a Silicon Valley garage. High risk, high reward. Stock picking is often a favorite activity here, and the glass is more than half full. It's overflowing with optimism and potential. Defensive investing, on the other hand, is about as thrilling as reading the back of a cereal box. But hey, it works. It's all about preserving capital, like parking your money in a fortress and pulling up the drawbridge. You stick with established companies, index funds, and other low-volatility assets. The kind that still sleep well at night even when the market does a belly flop. Think utilities, healthcare, and consumer goods. The stuff people need rain or shine. From my home base in Portland, Oregon, I've seen both types of investors. The aggressive ones are like the daring chefs at our famed food trucks, mixing flavors, taking chances. The defensive investors, they're more like our meticulous baristas, measuring each coffee grind with the precision of a scientist. Nevertheless, the real secret sauce, the hollandaise of investment strategies, if you will, is a blend. A little aggression for growth, a touch of defense for stability. Because let's face it, when the economic weather changes, and boy does it love to throw us curveballs, you'll want to have a balanced diet to keep your financial health in check. No one strategy is better than the other. It's about what suits your palate, or in this case, your portfolio, and your sleep at night comfort level. Remember, whether you're swinging for the fences or playing it safe, make it a strategy that lets you enjoy the journey. After all, isn't life supposed to be a little fun, even when we're talking about investing? So pick your fighter or better yet, train to fight both ways.